Future Graphics, Lecture Number Five: Menu and Tools of the Editor Adobe Photoshop. There is our plan of the lesson. Number one is menu. Number two is tools, and the number three is the tools panel. There are some references for you. You can read if you want to know some more information. Menu. Number one is file, then edit. Third is image. Number four is lawyer. Number five is filter. Then you and the finally seven is windows. File. A. Uh, save, save as, save for work. Save, save as, save as a new file name and uh, save for web is a save a image as a form of JPEG or GIF uh, which is used for web image. And number B is import, export. Import is a bring another image into the canvas you are going and export is sending the image you are working to other applications. And number three is print. Number two is edit. A. Undo, step forward and backward. Undo, uh, cancel the last work. Step forward, move to the next stage which you did. And step backward, move to the previous stage which you did. B. Cut, copy, paste. Cut is a get rid of a part which you select. Copy, copy a part you select and paste. Attack the part you copy. 3 is image. A. Mode. Select a type of color. B. Image size. Canvas size. Image size. Change the size of the image. And canvas size. Change the size of the canvas where you are working. Bottom of your image. C. Rotate canvas. Changing the direction of your canvas. Number 4 is lawyer. A. New. Delete. New. Create a new layer. And the delete. Get rid of a layer you selected. B. Arrange. Change the order of layers. C. Merge. Make lawyers into the one lawyer. Number 5 is filter. Various kinds of technical effects. Number 6 is view. A. Zoom in, out, zoom in and zoom out. B. Print size. Help you to print only that you need. And C. Extras. Showing horizontal and vertical lines by dividing into separate sectors. 7 is Windows. The same function with view in other Windows applications such as MS Office. You can select that you want to make visible on your page and what you don't want to make visible on your page. Toolbar. Number 1. Mercury. Lasso. Magic Wand. Crop. 2. Move. 3. Brush. Gradient. Paint bucket. 4. Erase. Number 5 is clone stamp, pattern step. And the number 6 is smudge, dodge, smudge. Number 7 is text. And the number 8 is set foreground and background color. First, marquee, lasso, magic wand, and the crop. A. Margie. Select a part of an image you are working with arranged forms such as rectangular and the elliptical. B is lasso. Draw selection paths freehand with a mouse. If you click and hold, you can change the tools so that you can draw polygons. C. Magic wand. Select all the same color or similarity colored adjacent pixels. And the D crop, crop the image. The selected area will be surrounded with a blinking dotted line. 2. Move. 
move the image on a selected layer to one other part of canvas you are working. 3. Brush, Gradient, Paint Bucket A. Brush Basic tools for drawing a line B. Gradient This helps you to paint stage by stage with more than two colors. And C. Paint Bucket Fill out a cropped part with just one click of this tool. Number 4. Erase Erase it, you crop it off the where you click with your mouse after selecting this tool. And 5. Clone stamp pattern stamp. A. Clone stamp. Copy a selected part and restore it where you want. B. Pattern stamp. This is nearly the same tool with clone stamp, but you can arrange the shape of your crop it and you can use it as a fixed shape. 6. Smudge, Dutch and a Sponge A. Smudge Effect as a such rubbing canvas with fingers. B. Dutch Make it bright the part where you scrub this too. C. Sponge Saturate or desaturate selected part of an image. Number 7 is text. Type in various characters. Eight. Set foreground background color. Foreground color. The color of image what you draw with a drawing tool such a brush tool. Background color. When you use the gradient tool, the color will be different from the foreground color. Selection tools. Button tool and the description. Marquee. So select an object by drawing a rectangle or an ellipse around it. Click the tool button to the rectangular or an elliptical marquee. Drag the marquee and over the area of the image you want wish to select. Move. Use to select and move objects on a page. Click the tool button then click on any object you on your page you wish to move. Lasso selects an object by drawing a freehand border around it. Click the tool button, drag to draw a freehand border around there of the image you wish to select. Polygonal lasso selects an object by drawing a straight edge border around it. Click the tool button, click on the starting point on the image, drag to draw a straight edge border and click and drag again to select the row of the image you want to select. Double click to finish. Magnetic lasso Select an object by drawing a border that snaps to the edges of the defined area of the object. Click on the starting point on the image, drag around the row of the image. The tool will make fastening points at the edges. To finish selecting, drag the border to the starting point and click practically in the point. Magic wand. Select all objects in a document with the same or similar Fill color, stroke weight, stroke color, opacity, or blending mode. By specifying the color range or tolerance, you can control what the magic wand tool selects. Click the two buttons and click on the area of your image you want to select. Crop tool selects and cuts parts on an image. Click the tool button, then click and drag the tool over the part of the image that you want to keep. Besides the selected area, dragging the squares and at the sides and corners. Click the return key when your crop box is sized correctly.
Alteration Tools button tool in the description. Healing Brush corrects small blemishes in scanned photos. Select the tool, hold down the Alt key and the left click on the base color you need to heal. Then left click over the blemish. Brush tool. Draw lines of different thicknesses and colors. Select the tool, then click on the selected area, drag to draw lines. Use the options bar to change the brush mode, opacity and the flow. Cone stamp. Takes a sample of an image and applies over another image or a part of the same image. Select the tool, hold down the Alt key and the left click on a certain point of the document where you want to start your copy point. Then, put your mouse over whatever part of the new document you want the picture to go to. Hold down the left mouse button, drag the mouse across the page to copy the picture. Art History Brush Paints over an image using the source data from a specified history state or snapshot. Select the tool, specify the brush, blending mode, opacity, style, area and tolerance. Erase tool Removes part of an existing path or stroke. You can use the erase tools on paths but not on text. Select the tool, click on the part of the image you use to erase. Drag to erase pixels. Paint backend tool. Fills an entire area with a specific color of your choice. Select the block. Select the tool. Choose the foreground color of the color box. Select an area you wish to apply the color to. Click the tool button, then click on the selected area. Gradient tool applies a gradient field to a selected part of the image or to an entire layer. Select an area you wish to apply gradient to. Click the tool button, choose a field in the options bar. Click on the starting point, hold the mouse down and drag to the end point. Blur tool. Blur the sharp edges of an image. Select an area where you wish to apply the tool. Click the tool button. Choose the brush mode and strange. Drag the brush along the edges. Dodge tool. Lightens arrays in the image. Select the area where you wish to apply the tool. Choose the brush, range and exposure. Click on the spots you wish to highlight. Drawing and selection tools. Button tool in the description. Direct selection tool. Select paths and the path segments. Select the tool, click anywhere on the path. Type tool. Type text on the page. Every time you click the type tool on a new portion, of a page, a new lawyer will be created. Select the tool, click on the page and begin to type. You can specify and the font and size in the options bar. You can also resize and transform the text bar box by dragging the squares at the sides and corners. Use the Move tool to move the text on a page. Pen tool. Draw smooth edged paths. Select the tool. Click on the page. Drag to draw a path. And uh, click and drag the anchor points to modify the path. Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle shape. Other shapes that are hidden in the tools are Rounded Rectangle tool, Ellipse tool, Polygon tool, Line tool and the Custom Shape tool. Select the tool, click and drag on the page to draw a shape. 
The shape will be automatically filled with the current foreground color. There are assisting tools. Note tool. Server serves as a comment feeder usually used for electronic text edits. Select the tool, click on the spot of the page where you wish to make a comment. Type in the text box. Eyedropper tool. Takes color samples from colors on the page and displays them in the color boxes. Select the tool, click on the color in the image you wish to sample. The color box will display this color. Hand tool allows you to move around within the image. Select the tool, click on the spot on the page, hold the mouse button down, drag to move in this area. Magnifying glass tool magnifies or reduces the display of any area in your image window. Select the tool, choose zoom in or zoom out in the options bar. Click on the area of the image you wish to magnify or reduce. Color boxes and modes. Color boxes and modes. The foreground colors appears in the upper color selection box and represents a color that is currently active. The background color appears in the lower box and represents an inactive color. To change the foreground color, click the upper color selection box in the toolbox. To change the background color, click the lower color selection box in the toolbox. To resolve the foreground and background colors, click the switch colors icon, the arrow in the toolbox. To restore the default foreground and background colors, click the default colors icon, the little black and white boxes in the toolbox. Note, if you are using the gradient tool, the currently selected foreground and background colors will be the default colors of the gradient. Modes Edit in standard mode and edit in quick mask mode are used for modifying images in the unmasked or masked area. Standard screen, full screen with menu bar, full screen are used for viewing larger or smaller area of the image. Edit in animate image ready is used to transfer the file for editing in Adobe Image Ready. Selection tools Mercury Select an object by drawing a rectangle or an ellipse around it. Click the tool button, choose a rectangular or an elliptical Mercury. Drag the marker over the area of the image you wish to select. Move. Use to select and move objects on the page. Click the tool button, then click on any object on, on the page you wish to move. Lasso. Select an object by drawing a freehand border around it. Click the tool button, drag to draw. A freehand border around the R of the image you wish to select. Polygonal lasso. Select an object by drawing a straight edge border around it. Click the tool button, click on the starting point on the image, drag to draw a straight edge border, click and draw again to select the R of the image you wish to select. Double click to finish. There are some questions for you. Number one is, what is healing tool? Number two is, how is to create an artistic border? Number three, what are lasso tools and name them? Number four, what is clone tool? Number five, how does red eye tool works? Number six, choosing a single or double clone toolbar. Thank you for attention. Назарларыңызға рахмет.